was about to go to bed, I saw you from the window. Can I... Is there something I can do for you? Oh, no, I'm just here for the Northern Lights. Okay, okay, it's just... It's awful late, and you're in my yard. Oh, I, I hope you don't mind. I'll only be here tonight. I'll see them tonight, the Northern Lights, and then I'll be gone. I hope you don't mind. Is that your tent? Yes. You pitched a tent. So I have a place to sleep. In my yard. After I see them, I, I hope you don't mind. Well, it's not that I... Do you mind? Well, I don't know what if I... Uh, oh, no. I think you mind. No, it's not that I mind. No, you do. You do. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't think that you would. I didn't think... You see, it says in your brochure... In my brochure? That people from Maine wouldn't mind. It says... The people from Maine are different. They, they live life the way life should be. And that, in the tradition of the brethren in the rural northern climes like Scandinavia, they let people who are complete strangers, like cross-country skiers and, and bikers and hikers, camp out in their yard. If they need to, for nothing, they'll just let you. And I'm a hiker. Is that true? Well. And that they'll just like let you stay in their yards if you need to, because I need to camp out because I'm where I need to be. This is the furthest I've ever traveled. I'm from a part of the country that's a little closer to things. I've never been this far north before or east. Did you know that Maine is the only state in the country that's attached to the only one in the state? No. Um, it is. It feels like the end of the world and here I am at the end of the world and I have nowhere to go. So I was counting on staying here unless it's not true. I mean, is well, it true? Well, uh, would you let a hiker who was where she used to be just camp out in your yard for free? Well, I mean, if a person really needed well, to, really, really, really needed to. Well, if a person really needed to, sure. But oh, then I'm so glad. Then thank you. The woman goes to the man, throws her arms open, and hugs him. In the hug, the bag gets squished between their bodies. When they part, the man is holding the woman's bag. The exchange of the bag is almost imperceptible to both the man and the woman, and to the audience. Immediately after hugging the man, the woman resumes looking intently for the northern light. Then, realizing she doesn't have her bag... Oh my gosh. Realizing that the man has her bag... I need that. Oh. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Okay, so you're, you're just looking for a place to see the northern lights from? Yeah. Just shy. Well, you know you might not see him tonight, because you never really know. Oh, oh no, I'll see him, because I'm in a good place. Your latitude is good, and this is the right time. Solar activity is at an 11-year peak. Everything is in order. And boy, you have a good sky for it. There's a lot of sky here. Used to be a potato farm. I was going to say, no trees in the way, and it's flat. Makes for a big sky. So, you're a farmer? No, used to be a farm. I'm a repairman. Oh. Fix things. <laughs> oh. What? You know, a lobster man. No. <laughs> I guess I thought that everybody from Maine was a lobster man and talked in that funny way that they do in Maine, and you don't talk that way. No, you're not down east. You're up north, and this is how up north we talk pretty much. Oh. Plus, the ocean's a couple hundred miles away. If you an awful long ride to work if I were a lobster man. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you. Thank you for letting me stay. I've had a bad enough time of things lately, not to be given a bad time here. The man, inexplicably drawn to her, kisses the woman. When they break, the bag has exchanged clutches imperceptibly. The man has it, and now we have two stunned people. Oh. Um, oh. Um, oh, boy. I'm sorry, I just, I think I love you. Really? Yeah, I, I saw you from the window and I, I love you. Well, that's very nice, uh, but there's something I think you should know. I'm not here for that. Oh no, I didn't think you were. I'm here to pay my respects to my husband. Oh. Yeah, my husband, Wes. I, I just wanted to say goodbye to him because he died recently, on Tuesday actually. And see the Northern Lights, did you know this? Uh, the Northern Lights are actually 
they're really torches that the recently departed carry with them so that they can find their way to heaven and see it takes three days for a soul to make its way home to heaven and this is friday this is the third day so you see i will see them the northern lights because they're him and he'll be carrying one of the torches and see i didn't leave things well with him so i was hoping i could come here and say goodbye to him and not be bothered but what you did there just a second ago that bothered me i think and i'm not here for that so maybe i should go and find another yard i'm sorry if i if i behaved in a way that i shouldn't have. no i think no i really don't know what happened well i do i know what happened and not the kind of person who does things like that please don't go it's just do what you need to do i won't bother you maybe just consider it a nice uh very warm main welcome all right all right i'm my name's glory i'm east for easton the name of the town a little ways that way where i was born mess up on the birth certificate hassan easton born on this day 6th of january in the town of matthew may instead of the other way around um sorry uh, so easton yeah uh yeah i just passed through here near there on my way here um and by the way where is here where am i i, I couldn't find it on the map um almost what you're in unorganized territory town ship 13 range 7. it's gonna be uh it's not gonna be on your map because it's not an actual town technically well, what do you mean see to be a town you gotta get organized we never got around to getting organized so we're just Almost. Oh. They enjoy this. Beat. Glory now deals with the fact that she's missing her bag. She was clutching it to her chest, and now it's gone. This should upset her so much that it seems like it affects her breathing. Oh. Oh. What? Well, what's wrong? My, my heart. What? Are you okay? My, my heart. What? You have my heart. I... It's in that bag. It's in that bag. Oh. Please give it back. Okay. Please, it's my heart. I need it. Please. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Along sorry. Pete, while East considers what he has just heard. Did you just say that your heart is in that bag? Is that what you just said? That your heart? Yes. It's heavy. Yes. Why is it in that bag? It's how I carry it around. Why? It's broken. What happened? Last broke it. Your husband? Yeah, he went away. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, and when he did that, I felt like my heart would break. And that's exactly what happened. It broke hard enough to crack in two. It hurt so bad. I had to go to the hospital, and when I got there, they told me they were going to have to take it out. And when they took it out, they dropped it on the floor, and it broke into 19 pieces, slate. Gently shakes the bag, which should be filled with small, a heart is the size of its owner's fist, pieces of a slate. They make a great sound when shaken. Return to slate. She looks back up at the sky. Great for roofing? Wait a second. How do you breathe? If your heart is in that bag, how are you alive? Artificial. Really? Yeah, because my real one's broken. Why do you carry it around with you? It's my heart. So it's broken. Yeah. Because your husband left. Yeah. Well, why are you paying your respects to him if he left? Because that's what you do when a person dies. You pay them respect. But he left. Yeah, but and it seems to me that a man who leaves somebody doesn't deserve any deserve any respects. Well, I just I didn't leave things well with him. What do you mean? And I need to apologize. But you left. I know, but I... Why should you apologize? Because. Because why? Because I killed him. Oh. And I'd like to apologize. See, he had come to visit me when I was in recovery, from when they put my artificial heart in. I was almost better. I was just about to go home, too. And he said he wanted me back. And I said, Wes, I have a new heart now, and I'm sorry. It doesn't want me back. And that just killed him. Oh, but it didn't kill him. 
You didn't. Yes, yes I did. Because he got so sad that my new heart didn't want him back that he just tore out of the hospital. And an ambulance that was coming in from an emergency didn't see him and just took him right out. And if I had been able to take him back, Lord. he wouldn't have tore out of there right now. Lord. And been just taken out like that. So I feel that for closure, the right thing to do is inexplicably drawn to her east kisses glory when she pulls away he has her heart again she takes it back please don't do that anymore why i love you well, don't why because i won't be able to love you back i have a heart that can pump blood and that's all the one that does the other stuff is broken it doesn't work anymore again inexplicably drawn to her east deliberately kisses glory glory pulls away east has her heart again Glory grabs it from him. East grabs it right back. Please let me have it. No, it's mine. I can fix it. I don't know if I want you to. East, please give that back to me. But it's broken. Please. It's no good like this. But it's my heart. East. Yes, it is, but I believe I have it. And I can fix it. I'm a repairman. I repair things. It's what I do. Beats. East crouches gently places the bag on the ground and starts to open it in order to examine its contents. Music. As he opens the bag, music up, and the northern lights appear. In front of Glory, above Glory, on the field of stars behind Glory, Glory sees them, and they're a thing of wonder. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, oh Wes. Wes, goodbye. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Bye, Wes. And the Northern Lights and West.